It's good you choose the free gate three here today with a pickup that I had to camp out for. So camped out, uh, went to um, we SC in Carnley Street. Um, there was a few of us that camped out for them. Um, they only had um, 14 pairs, which was part of the 950 release there. They only had 14 pairs. I was pleased that I was able to get a pair, not only a pair, but also my size, so I was pretty lucky with that. I was third in line, uh, met some really pretty cool uh, sneakers, so uh, shout out to all of you. Um, and uh, this is my first pick up because um, they've just released, um, but I'll get straight into the, the shoe. The box um, to start off with, I'll show you. They're not that you'll probably be too bothered, but uh, Nike SB Eric Costum Premiums. So these are the uh, Costum Kobe's. Um, limited release of a uh, thousand worldwide. Like I said, I don't know how many released in the UK, but in this store particular, um, it was uh, only 14 pairs. So um, there's only one pair per person, otherwise, I'll have cost another pair. Um, the box, first off, is a pretty small box. Um, just to give you a vibe, anyway, this is a US 8, and the other standard box is here. Um, that's actually a six and a half, but you can see the uh, the difference in the size. Again, a lot shorter. Um, so that's just one of the things I picked up on. In terms of the actual sneaker itself, um, fits true to size, and I'm really happy with them. So I'll get straight into the shoe. Cost and Kobe's. Um, I was really um, actually surprised with the quality on the shoe. I really liked it, um, and I, um, I'll, I'll get into the details as we go around. Hopefully the camera can pick this up. This is all of a, a, a new buck material. Um, it's a sort of um, uh, if you can see if the camera can pick up. It's uh, obviously black mambas, so it's like a scale print um, of a snake, a reptile. Um, you've got um, this uh, stitching, which hopefully you can pick up. It, it goes uh, around and in, and then flex out. Uh, here into like a diamond shape, you can see that. Because um, when I first saw them on the pictures, I thought they were quite like the Bruins, but um, they are in itself uh, a completely different sneaker, and um, and and dope has that. Um, you've got then the, uh, the the swoosh on the side, which is actually like an overspray. It's um, again, if I can get the camera to pick that up there, close up. It's an overspray, it's like a stencil spray, which is obviously which is quite a nice effect. Um, you've obviously just got your, your, your stitching on the back part that you can see there that runs round. Um, on the back there, you've got a yellow Nike SB here, um, and that is um, actually a suede, a suede around here, which is nice. Uh, around the ankle area, you've got this um, like nice. Um, soft um, stretchy nylon um, around there which is in black that goes around there the um, tongue itself is uh, a black mesh tongue again if the camera can pick that up trying to get the light on it um, you've got um, no piping as such it's actually just stitched so it makes it look like it has a piping but it doesn't um, you've then got your uh, suede, uh, buttery suede tab, your Costum, uh, Eric Costum 1 signature model um, on the, the, the front, and on the back, you've got the Kobe logo. Inside the uh, sneaker itself, Costum, um, Kobe Costum, um, and then Nike SB, pretty good, uh, and then inside the inner walls are of a purple colour. The uh, real nice thing that I like about this is actually the bottoms. Um, bottoms on this are pretty dope. Um, as uh, a couple of people have actually said already, the only start that you've actually got is on the hip right there. There you go. Um, and the uh, the swoosh is pretty dope. It's a, 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 a translucent um, um, swoosh, and it actually does have the stars on there as well. If the camera will pick it up, I don't think it will. Um, you've then got just your um, yellow hit on the side here, so obviously when you're wearing it you can see. Uh, like I said, all round don't, don't uh, sneak, I'm really really pleased with them. Uh, the extra laces were white, which I put on here. Um, the laces that came with them were black. Um, I'm actually going to probably stick with the, the, 
stick with the the white song, get the white songs I, I was feeling those. Like I said, these are true to size. If you can get your hands on them, um, I wouldn't say you need to go up. I thought at first that these were going to fit quite skinny, but they actually don't, surprisingly. So, um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to show you what I have on feet today, and then I'm going to show you what these are like on feet. So just bear with me. I will wait. Up. These are the two true blues, obviously threes, uh, 2011s. I picked them up um, uh, a while ago. Uh, shout out to um, the monster, um, the underscore monster on Twitter. Cheers for sorting out with those. Um, so yeah, true blues. You've obviously seen thousand one um, reviews on them already. Not going to bore you to death with that. Um, and I'll show you what the Like I said, similar, quite similar to the Bruins. Really, really comfortable sneaker. Really pleased I got these. I'm going to pick up the GR colorways as well. So I think they're all round dope sneaker. Uh, the only thing I thought that would have been nice with these would be uh, to have actually dropped them with the red box. Um, but obviously, we're still in blue boxes. Here we go. Amazing. Let me know what you think, white or white or uh, black places. I said I'm going to stick to with the white. So just let me know what you think. Um, really appreciate all of the comments and subscribers, guys. Remember to hit me up um, up here um, on Twitter. Just um, sneak three to eighty three at twitter dot com. Um, always just uploading loads of random stuff on there. Obviously talking about uh, sneakers all the time. Um, and that's it guys, so I'm going to be uploading a few more uh, videos now, I've got a bit of spare time, so thanks a lot, uh, comment, like, subscribe, peace.